I received a prospective client inquiry today about a prenuptial agreement. Now, the wedding is going to take place approximately two weeks in the future. So, uh, the email inquiry was, uh, I'm going to be getting married on this date, which is about two weeks away, and my fiance's attorney prepared a prenuptial agreement. I'd like you to review it. So, really, that that's a, uh, a quick turnaround. Not that we couldn't meet or discuss the prenuptial agreement, but any agreement that really tries to put the hammer down on you with only two weeks before the wedding really is a tough document, right? So, um, there is case law that the rule of thumb is that you should have the prenuptial agreement prior to the wedding announcements going out. Is that a good rule of thumb? Yeah, it's an excellent rule of thumb. Right? People sometimes send out a save the date, then they say that send out um, uh, invitations. Once the invitations are sent, any agreement on, on either side, right, husband or wife, prospective husband or wife, any agreement that they enter into, really they have the pressure and the force of the pending, the pending nuptials, right? So this is prenuptial, but really close. It's an almost nuptial. It was really tight. So uh, I'm going to see what the document actually says. It, it may not say, um, it may not be that bad. However, think about, and I'm not so worried. Well, I'm always concerned, but the person that I'm going to be, uh, prospectively the, the, the attorney for is being offered the document. I can anticipate that the other side is the, is the one with money and assets that they're looking to protect. But if you are the one that wants to protect your assets, get the prenuptial agreement out soon, at least, at least before the invitations.